let's learn how to create an event. First of all, log on to townscript.com and then click on this pink button right here. Now you can sign up manually or you can sign up using Facebook or Google. I'm going to go ahead with Google. And now I'm into my dashboard and for creating a new event, click on this pink button right here. Now we are on the event details page. Let's name our event as test marathon. The event URL is something which appears on the top of the event page that is here okay so make sure it is as close to the name as possible and then even type a private event and a public event so a private event is something which appears only to people who have the event URL with them and a private event won't be listed on our website won't appear on our listings but a private event will only be visible to the people with the link and they can go and buy tickets but a public event would be visible to everybody who goes to townscript.com and searches for the event so that's that and organize by that is you go ahead so the start date so my event starts let's say it starts tomorrow and it ends tomorrow let's change the time it starts at 8 a.m. and it ends at uh, let's say 11 a.m. okay let's move ahead location now event location so let's say it's happening at Magapata city and this is for the additional details of the venue you can add whatever you'd like to and this automatically picks up the location let's move ahead even description is something which gives the user or the attendee a brief idea about the event so make sure you mention all the details about the event like let's say test marathon 2016 3k 5k I'm sorry 5k okay so and also mention what's gonna be provided at the event like water and refreshments okay let's move ahead make sure you provide all the details about the event here let's move ahead photos now you have to submit photos which are gonna appear on your event page I'll show you where do they appear these are the card images this one is going to appear here okay and this one is going to appear here okay you can also add images and videos in your event description this is the event description by the way okay let's move ahead now tickets let's say I have a 3k one ticket and then I have 600 participants for 3k then let's say minimum quantity is you have to buy one pass or you can have a couple pass let's say two and then my room got it is also two because it's a couple pass and then ticket type if it's normal that normal means you want the user to pay for the ticket let's say 1200 and if you don't want the user to pay for the ticket if the ticket is for free of cost you select donation but let's say, okay and this is the availability of the ticket is my ticket available or it's on halt or it's hidden my ticket is available who will pay the transcript fee you know about the transcript fee we charge certain amount on every ticket let's say I pay the transcript fee so this is the start and end date for the ticket let's say it starts today and ends two days after okay ticket description this ticket this ticket includes free food and water I'm just putting in random details these don't mean anything so if you want to provide some additional message to the attendee 
you can tell him you can also bring your own running kit I'm just putting in random details these don't mean anything let's move ahead so now my ticket is created you can add multiple tickets for multiple runs like 5k or 10k or 25k okay let's move ahead so these are the form questions that would be asked to the attendee when he's booking the ticket so if you like to add more questions let's say phone number question type is contact number for 3k run yes the question is required or it's optional let's say it's required add the question let's submit and then we're done your event is created thanks for watching guys